Hey everybody, this is Chad Barker, your Sudoku professor. Now this video that you're about to watch is an excerpt from an Insiders Club webinar that we did after we released the linked double doubles technique, which is part of our master's level course. On this webinar with me is Brian Garman, who is a top contributor to the club and the impetus behind the linked double doubles technique. So first you're going to see me in the studio where I show you the technique in action on a puzzle which is down below in the comments if you'd like to download that and work it yourself. Then I'm going to be back in front of the computer answering questions from webinar participants. As we look at the puzzle, you know, we've made a good bit of progress here, but the, it always is the key is how do we find these things? And what I have found to be the most helpful and when I'm looking for this pattern is to first look for and find the cross box double doubles. Let's not look at the inbox double doubles first. Let's look at the cross box double doubles and then see if we can find the inbox. Now, for you, you could try it different ways. You can look for the inbox and see if you can find the cross box. Again, I, I find it to be a, a more sure method, I've found, to look to find the cross box first. And that's what we're going to do. So we look, we can, there's actually, um, there's no cross box double doubles on rows. In columns, we have one here. In column six, we got the four, five. And then in column um, over here, in column eight, we have the five, nine. We look at the five, nine, though, we can see that it this end point of the, of, the, of the double double ends in this row eliminating five, six, nine triple combo. So I've explained in the prior lessons and that, that this is never a situation where we're going to be able to link with anything. This, this is all row eliminating, and therefore it's going to eliminate the possibilities of finding a common number along the row. So this, this, is, this cross box double double is out. That leaves us with only one cross box double double to consider. That's our four or five. So the way I do this is, again, I, I, I take this and I, I want to scan across. I can scan back this way or that way. If we look back over here, I mean, uh, we're not going to look in the box. We're going to look outside the box. And we, we come across these triple combos over here. That's not helpful. We scan this way, and we run into this space right here. So we have this 4 or 5. We have a, we're have we scanning across. We find this 5, 9. Oh, well, there's a couple things that we, we just found. It's part of a double-double in the box, right, 5, 9, double-double. And it shares a common number. So we have our three components, OK? We have a. We have a cross box double double. We have an inbox double double that shares a number and shares a common row at one of the endpoints. All right. So then what we do is we take the other endpoint here and here and find out where they intersect and see if we can do an elimination. We come down from the column there and across the row and we find out that there's the space is already filled in. Oh well. Found the pattern. We couldn't do the elimination. Well, let's keep looking. Again, we're going to keep going across. And we find this five, this again, we have this five, six over here. So now we again we have do they share a common number? Yes, five can the endpoints, because this is part of this five, six, double, double in box, and we have found, you know, that they share a common number, which is five now. So we have all the components. Now we need to look to see if we can what we can do with the other endpoints. So these are our linking endpoints the along the row. So we go to our other endpoints here and here, and we find out where they intersect. And that's right here in this row in this column. And this space right here cannot be the common number of 5. Let's do the logic. So if this is a 4, then this space has to be a 5, which would cause this space to be a 6, which causes this space to be a 5. Or this space up here is a 5. So either this is a 4 or a 5. Five is gonna if it's a four, five winds up here, or it's a five, which in any case five is gonna wind up in one of these two spaces, eliminating five from that space. Or we could stick the number in there, and we could find out we could do the the conflict method, and we'd find out that we'd have a conflict somewhere if we put five in that space. Okay. Anybody got any uh, any questions on that? Now, Brian, maybe you could tell me is is that how is that how you would search for these? Would you start in the column looking at well at cross box, or do you how do you, do you have a different method that you use? Well, I don't know that uh, I like your method actually. Uh, it makes it more systematic. 
I tend to just uh, look around and kind of globally, if I if I if I see the uh, I see the five six and the four five or the five six five six four five. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm as as systematic as you. I, I like your systematic way because it it does uh, uh, when you when you do those cross boxes, you, you only have two choices and. So uh, I'm learning a whole lot myself. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, some of you, um, I see some comments here, Howard and Philip. You missed you missed the video, so I'll go ahead and and uh, talk about. It. I'll just quickly review what what we came across here. So the first thing we did was to find the cross box double doubles. Um, we found a couple of them here and here. I eliminated from. The five nine here in row eight, I eliminated because it's part of a five nine, five six nine triple combo that is row eliminating down here. That's going to prevent the link. So we we focused on the four five cross box double double. So we were looking here and here at this four five, and then we started to look um, along rows what i did is I, I looked along row here and here this way and then i looked back the other way to try to find an inbox double double that shared one of those numbers either four or five uh, ultimately we found this five six double double here that we could use uh, in this inbox nine and um, row seven was our linking row that we we linked the two double doubles along row seven here and that allowed us to do uh, let's see here i can race a little bit here hold on allowed us to eliminate five, the common number from this space right here up in box three. And then we did the logic here of um, if this is a four, this is a five, which makes this a six, which makes this a five, or this is a five. So these, these other endpoints um, that are not linking, these are the what I'm starting to call the elimination endpoints here up here in row three and down here in row eight. Um, five, you know, they are gonna, one of them is going to be five, uh, one or the other. It doesn't We don't know which one, but in all cases, five is eliminated from the space where I have the green X. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, let's see here. Any Anybody else have any questions about it? And you might add that putting in the five there or putting in the nine there solves the puzzle quite quickly. Yeah, that's actually, you're right. Thank you. Um, I had forgotten that I had done that. Yeah. If you, because it's a five, nine, double, double, once you eliminate five from that space, you're, you're good to go. Hey, if you like that lesson and you want more like it, you may want to check out the Sudoku professors insiders club, where you get access to lots of great resources, solving tips and strategies, our exclusive puzzle library, a fantastic community of like-minded Sudoku enthusiasts, and much, much more. There's a link in the description below. So, happy solving. I'm Chad Barker, your Sudoku professor.